Howdy y'all and welcome back. Wubby's nine month update. So whenever you see shoe reviews, they're always like from people that just took them out of the box and wore them around for like a week or whatever. And they're trying to tell you what the shoe is like. And it's kind of pointless. These have been to the fair and they have seen the bear. I have been beating the Jesus out of these for the last nine months, training classes, range trips, uh, light hiking, uh, skating, they're my everyday, like, or well, <laughs> several days a week workout shoes. They have been through a lot. They're also my kick around, like go to the grocery store, whatever shoes. Pretty much any time I have shoes on my feet in the last nine months, it's been these. Almost entirely. Granted, I'm kind of a flip-flop guy or a barefoot guy, so it's, they don't, it's not like I'm wearing them to a job or anything, but you get the idea. I've definitely been punishing these and they're holding up freakishly well. One minor, minor issue. We'll cover that here in a second. Let's take them over to the table and get a closer look. Okay, so I'm having to resort to some artificial light here. I've lost my good natural daylight. Uh, so forgive my not being able to show you exactly what's going on with the discoloration. You can sort of see it right here though, how this is a little bit this is the color that it was, and this is the color that they're kind of wearing into. And I'm not totally sure if this isn't from, I completely submerged these like all the way up in some really skanky range mud at a training class. Might've had something to do with that. It sat, they sat muddy for a day or two, and then I blasted them off with the hose and stuck them out on a table on my back porch to dry in the sun. And it could have had something to do with that or something to do with our freakishly chlorinated water here in Houston. A little bit of all of the above, I don't know. But that is when I noticed the change was after that event. Uh, you can sort of see it going on right there. It's subtle. It's not a big deal. I absolutely don't care. Uh, I don't mark it as a ding against them or anything. It's some kind of natural canvasy kind of cotton or something, and that stuff's going to age and wear and do what it's going to do. Uh, the soles are just bizarrely solid, and yet also completely sticky enough to cling to things. Probably not like great rock climbing shoes, but they're great on a skateboard, great on pavement, cement, whatever you got. Uh, and, uh, and again, not an all day on your feet kind of range shoe necessarily, but plenty of cushion for stepping on some rocks and gravel and things like that, brass casings or whatever. The insoles are holding up fantastic. They pretty much look like they're, well, other than some, whatever that is, <laughs> some sock fuzz or whatever, but um, they don't smell, they're not funky at all. I do always wear them with socks, but I mean, you can see they look really, really solid inside. And the other one is just the same. I'm really bad. I'm a pronator, so I'm really bad about, usually I get one corner, that inner corner right there is usually pretty chewed up by this point in a shoe, especially a shoe that I wear this much. And so far they're looking great. And again, maybe just a little bit of discoloration here and there, but not too bad. All right, and so that's it. If you can hear the leaf blowers in the background, I apologize. If I waited until those stopped, I would never get anything filmed. I'd have to film it like midnight. <laughs> so I apologize if you can hear that. The show must go on or something like that. Anyway, that's all I got. I can highly recommend these. They're like in the probably top five or 10 list of things that like products that I actually would put my stamp of approval on. Like, yes, definitely. If you're in the market, buy those. So until next time, be easy, y'all.